All right, guys. Well, I don't know if I want to buy any more Yesus. Some of these stupid problems like this really pissed me off. So uh, we were testing something out, and I um, forgot that the radio in the house was hooked up. And I was out here in the shop, and I was on the loop, and the other radio was hooked up on the dipole. And uh, 991As do what 991As do when there's a strong signal nearby. The, um, the attenuator resistor pops, and the radio wasn't even on. And I actually uh, taped the pieces over here. Um, so we can zoom in. So, um, and uh, that comes from right over here by that connector. You see that open pad? So what we're going to do in this video, if I can uh, film it, is um, we don't have any surface mount stuff. And I don't do surface mount. But we're just going to put a regular 150 ohm resistor in there. And, uh, you know, that's what I had to do to an 891A that I bought from somebody else that, uh, I don't know if they did it or if they bought it that way, but this happens to all of them. It's ridiculous. You can never have these near another radio running any kind of power. They will pop. And these pieces were, um, one was floating in the bottom of the case and the other one was still kind of sitting in there. So, um. Yeah, it's a design fault, and it's because uh, down in here, there. Um, let's see if I can see it. Um, there's a uh, there's a diode that protects this, but it uh, doesn't have the. Uh, it's it's not rated right. So anyway, let's get to it. So I'm gonna um, prepare my resistor, and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna trim these and bend them up. And that will allow me to be able to stick that down in there and quickly solder it. So, let me find my pliers. So, I'm going to take this and uh, see here. Okay, we got that. So, I'm just trying to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take it and uh, I'm just going to bend it like that. Hell is it? Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. So anyway, um, we're gonna bend it like that and then trim off the legs. And then uh, I just reach down on the circuit. And um, God, this this camera is driving me nuts. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, Jesus, come on. Okay. It just does not want to focus, does it? Yeah, guess not. So, we're going to put that down in there. You're probably not going to be able to see it. Um, let me see if I can actually make this work. Uh... We get in here a little bit closer. I might actually be able to really get in here. I need a better uh, camera besides my phone. You know what I mean? Okay, we'll be right in here, right there. Well, let's see. doesn't go further All right. so we're we can see the pads all right well I need some RA flux and I don't have any so, I'm going to have to use this old stuff. And 
we got to get in here and hold this perfectly. I might have actually made these a little too long. Soldering iron over here for now. Okay. So we got this like that. And then uh should be able to just get in here and do this with it. And it really shouldn't be a problem. Thing keeps wanting to move on me. Okay. Yeah, I gotta find a better way to hold this thing. So it's close, but we have to bend it a little bit more. It just uh, didn't quite want to sit in there, and so these are a little bit too long. Um, Take a little bit off of there. I've already kind of hit this with the soldering iron. So. What I was looking for is I have, uh, you know, some forceps. And I think that they have a better reach. But uh, this is what I got right now. And it's in there. It doesn't take much. I mean, you don't even have to solder it. You know, you just need you need RA flux on there. And um, and you just need to make sure that uh, you don't blob anything up. Let me show you guys. So you can see it right there. I've got to get in there with a Q-tip and remove that, but. That's all there is to it. Just a little heat. Get in there and tack it in there. Don't uh, you know? worry about it too much. I would rather uh, that this thing fall out, you know, because of the solder than uh, to conduct and take out more of the radio. So and that um, is basically what the original part does. It just falls right out. So... Uh, this is a quarter watt resistor. I don't know what the other one was like a one tenth or something. So if you do a Google search on this and I'll, I'll post a link down in the uh, description uh, where you can uh, find another video on this and uh, pictures of the circuit and um, an explanation of this. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for such a long video.